I'm going to talk to you about component testing with Playwright. First of all, um, is there anyone who's heard of Playwright? Okay, that's pretty good. You've heard of it. Now, who is actually using Playwright? Only three people. Okay, oh gosh. So this is exactly why I'm here, because at the end of this talk, well, no, this lightning talk is going to be hard, but uh, very soon I'm going to go to a conference and I'm going to say, who's using Playwright? And you'll all raise your hands, except for the Cypress people, but that makes sense. So that's cool. <laughs> don't worry, we're all friends. Okay, so yes, my name is Debbie O'Brien. For those of you that don't know me, I'm a senior program manager at Microsoft. This is my fourth week, so it's very, very new. And basically, I work on the community developer division team with a focus on advocating for Playwright. So my job is to make sure you all know that Playwright exists. So yes, keep following me on Twitter if you want to know more about Playwright. Um, so basically, let's talk about um, powerful test runners. So when we build powerful test runners, uh, they're basically in Node, okay? And then we have like our components are using like JS DOM. So we've got a, com a capable test runner, which gives us file system access. It gives us parallelization. Um, but then we've got like fake browsers, right? Because we're in JS DOM, so we've got kind of fake CSS layout, no screenshot testing, and like emulated clicks, right? So that's one kind of way test runners are built. Another one are the lightweight test runners, which, you know, then you've got um, your components are in the browser, so this is perfect, the runner's in the browser, but you've got like no file system ac um, access, you've got no parallelization, um, but you do have real CSS and layout and you do have screenshot testing, but again, you've got those emulated fake clicks, right? So not perfect. And what Playwright does is kind of like, whew, whew, brings them both together, right? So we've got the powerful test runner in Node, but we've got our components in the browser. And that gives us like everything green, right? Because we like green. Um, so we've got file system uh, access, we've got the parallelization, we've got real clicks, we've got real CSS and layout, and we've got screen uh, shot testing. So woohoo. So um, if we're going to test our components, and our component testing in Playwright is in preview mode, that means um, we might break something still, as we're still like making sure it's, it's really cool. So it is preview, it's experimental, which is why I'm importing test and expect from Playwright. Experimental CT, it's component testing view. And what I did was I basically wrote some tests on the components of when you build your first uh, view app. So you get the hello world uh, component, and I'm basically testing should have a message prop. And we use mount, we mount it, and I'm basically saying the message is viewconf.us and I expect the component to contain that text. So a very simple test. And uh, here's a little video I've created and I'm using the um, extension in VS Code. So if you're in VS Code, you can actually use Playwright directly from there. I'm gonna click a little green arrow that you're gonna see. And that means I don't even have to open the terminal to run my tests. I can just like press buttons, which is really cool. And also something to mention here, you can also record your tests and have your tests written for you um, by just clicking around. And you can do that straight from the um, extension as well, which is that little kind of round circle. It looks like a record um, color button. It's no color, but it's like a record one just beside the play. So that's really cool as well, but I'm just gonna show you how to run the tests. So I'm gonna pre press the video. My tests are running, and there you go, test run, finish, done, super fast. Um, now I'm gonna set a breakpoint so I can slowly show you what happened and I'm gonna run it in debug uh, mode. So here is in debug mode, it's gonna stop here, and it's gonna say, right, I'm gonna open up that browser, and I'm basically gonna inspect the page, see live coding just without using my fingers, and uh, I'm gonna zoom in here a little bit so you can see uh, that basically it's just a div with the uh, ID of root, right? So there's nothing on the page here, which is normal, because I'm at the breakpoint. Now I wanna go forward and basically mount that component onto that page. So I want to see that component rendered in isolation, and bang, I've got my component, right? So now I'm testing my component, and it's a little bit like it's there, right? It's got everything, but there's no class of green, there's no class of greetings, so the styles are not there, okay? So how do we get the styles in the component? So we can go to the app.view, and you can see that that imports the uh, base CSS. I can take that base CSS, and I can basically put it into the index.ts that comes with the Playwright folder, paste it in there, and then just change the, um, the syntax a little bit, make sure the, the path is correct. And now I've got access to that CSS. So every component is now gonna have access to that base CSS file. And now I'll go back and I'll rerun that test. The breakpoint is still there, so it's gonna um, run in debug mode. And now if I go back, I can see now in here, I've got a style sheet there. So it's accessing that styles. So if I now go over my test and uh, Go to the next point of it where it's mounting that component, it's going to mount it onto the page and you can see it's got styled there, right? Now, 
the blue thing over, that's just playwright saying, this is what I'm selecting. And if you're going to say, yeah, but it should be green, and you're right, it should be green. But um, when they created this, they put the styles in the actual app.view in the, in the styles. So if you wanted to copy them over, you could. Remember, it's component testing. So you should really be writing your components CSS in the actual component. Or if you've got a theme, then make a theme CSS and import that theme. But you can do it wherever you want. Just um, easy way to show it how that works. So um, you can test other things like slots, for example, and you can use um, object um, here, so slots, header, header, and we're basically testing that the slot works, that the component um, contains the text header. You can also use JSX, so if you prefer to use JSX, it'll look a bit like this, and it's easier to read, but the choice is completely yours, whether you want to use JSX or objects. Um, again, we can test a button, so we can also test events. So here we've got a messages array, a component, we're mounting the button, we've got our props, and we've got our on submit with a date, and we're push pushing all those messages in there. And then we await the component click. Playwright awaits for everything um, out of the box. You don't have to put set timeout and things like this. So it's really cool. And then expect the messages to equal hello or whatever. And again, you can also write this um, in, J in JSX, which makes it a little bit more kind of Nicer to read, in my opinion, but again, the choice is yours. You do whatever makes you happy. Uh, but here, the button title, v on submit data, push, button, click, equal to, blah, blah, blah. So that works uh, as well, just as you'd expect. So compile the component bundle and facade HTML page. So this is what's happening under the hood, right? So we already went through that test. That's that code there. You can't see it very well. Don't worry about it. We just walked, walked you through the video of it. So what's happening here is basically it's creating a file. It's like mapping all the components hello world, the welcome item, the button. And then what happens? Obviously, it uses Vite, because Playwright uses Vite, because Vite is super fast, and it uses Vite to compile and bundle that up. So we're basically going to get um, a cache with Playwright index.html and the Playwright bundle.js. What do we do with that bundle? Of course, we use, what do we use? We use Vite, right? <laughs> so we use Vite because it's super fast, and that allows us to preview the component. So Vite Preview here is serving that component, so we can now run it on localhost 3100, and we've, we're basically serving that Playwright bundle, the index HTML, and the bundle JS. And that's how we can see our components. It's all thanks to Vite, right? Vite is amazing. That's why we're here today. Um, so that's basically how Playwright works. Under the hood, you've got the mount fixture, and what it's doing is it's basically taking that code, it's a waiting page, go to the index HTML, and then it's await page.evaluate, window.bundle renderer, and then everything else in there. That's just under the hood, so you don't need to know, but just in case you're wondering how that works. And basically, yeah, with component tests, the features, you've got real browsers, so it tests on Chromium, Firefox, and WebKit. So even if you're on a Windows machine, you can run WebKit and test, in your, test to WebKit as well, so it's kind of cool. Um, so it does all that, you know, very quickly and easily for you. All Playwright capabilities, so if you're testing components or end-to-end -end tests, um, everything that you can do with end-to-end -end testing, you can do with your component tests. Great developer experience, so you can import the components and use JSX syntax where possible. Handling components, events in tests, and there's the VS Code extension, which we just saw. There's also like the code gen, which is going to write the test for you. Anyone who was in my workshops saw how quick it was to basically write a test. It took five minutes to write an end-to-end -end test because the code gen just did it for you. It's kind of like GitHub co Copilot. just does it all. You just like go, wow, cool. Um, and then there's uh, debugging very easily to debug with Playwright Tracing. This is a video, um, just in case you, you know, don't believe me. This was uh, in the workshop yesterday. And this is what the Playwright tracing looks like, where you can actually step through each of your tests um, in this trace mode, and you can actually like play along with that code. In the middle where there was our Nook stop that we tested, and you can actually just like, that's, it's not a DOM snapshot, it's like a, it's a DOM, it's basically a real DOM, so you can go and interact in it, you can click in it, um, and you can run the tracer along the top, you can see every click event, what's happening. And then over on the side, you can see the call, the console, the network, and the source code. And that's pretty much it. Now, if you want to know more about Playwright, we've got docs. We've got links there. You can take a picture of this if you want. This is the best slide. Um, you've got the Playwright Twitter, the Playwright YouTube, and the Slack channel if you are suffering and you need help. That's the place to go. Um, if you want other information, my website is debbie.codes. I do write some blog posts and stuff. I will be working on a lot of Playwright documentation, videos, um, everything that you're seeing is missing from Playwright. I am here to make that happen. Uh, Playwright, for those of you who don't know, is basically run by Microsoft, 
but it is completely open source, which means it's community driven. You are the community. So we want to know from you. We want you to star us on GitHub. We want you to tell us what you need, what problems you have. If you have a problem, you create an issue, and issues are the ones that are done before anything else. So upvote those issues, and we will like make sure that the team is on that and fixes it. And basically, anything you need, you just come to me and uh, be part of the community. And above all, you know, I know Cypress is here as well. We've got Playwright, we've got Cypress. Just test your applications, test your components. This is what we want you to all do. So if you're having problems testing, come and speak to us. We're all here at this event to make sure you test your applications and live in a better world. Thank you very much, everyone. All right, I think we have time for a quick question or two. Does anybody have a question for Debbie? Hit me with it. Oh, yeah, one down the back in the middle. I Way see in the back. It. There we go. The round table. You're going to have to meet me, man. Make it easy. It's only my fourth week, remember. Uh, so one problem I always had. Problem. Oh, gosh, here we go. Slack channel. <laughs> <laughs> one thing I always had with um, Cypress is taking like, screenshots for tests and making sure like uh, CSS and you know, padding and everything looks great. Like, can I do that with Playwright or are there issues with doing that in a headless environment? Yeah, so we have this um, in the latest version. So if you look at the release video of the latest version, it will show you that we have the uh, screenshot and that's in there. So depending on the version you've been using in Playwright, but check the latest version for that. And there's every month there's new versions and every month there's a release video that shows you all the new things. And the team are working like super, super fast. So it's like a lot to keep up with. Um, and we'll create better ways of making sure you uh, see the new features that are coming out and anything that is missing again create an issue and we will make sure it gets dealt with and yeah We have time for another question. Yeah, we got time for one okay. more. He's gonna bring the microphone so you can kind of hear it as well in the video and people on the, on the back, etc This is really quick when do you plan to support uh, component testing and like fully release it? Um, that's a great question. I don't know basically the more people that use it the better we get feedback on things that are not working. So at the moment, it's working very, very well. What are we missing? I don't know. The issues that need to be fixed in case there are issues. At the moment, it doesn't support Angular because Vite and Angular are not really friends. Um, maybe that's something that we need to work on. Um, but for Vue and stuff, I mean, it's working very, very well. So I reckon it's not going to take long to be in full. Um, yeah. But watch the space. But good question. All right. We've got time for one more. One more. Who's it going to be? Do, do, do. I've got a question. When can I start using Playwright? Right now. <laughs> All right, last question. Here we go. Alpha. How do you get the alpha? Is it like in Playwright? Yeah, it's in the, in the documentation. If you like, you can basically search for components or search for experimental, and it'll literally come up. Um, and if you forget, just DM me on Twitter and say, "How do I do it?" And I'll tell you. But it's the instructions are there, and it's like very, very simple. Um, to do, and then uh, install Playwright, just install the VS Code extension, or just follow the docs, but yeah. You're welcome. Okay, thank you everyone.